So when you're trying to find the length of a segment on a number line, you're just going to count the number of spaces in between the two endpoints. Um, but an important thing to remember is that distance between two points or the length of a segment will always be positive. So even if the endpoints are in the negative end of the number line, or even if you're moving from an endpoint on the right to an endpoint on the left, distance slash length of a segment, always positive. It is always positive. So this first question asks us to find the length of BE. So I know that B is at negative six and E is at two. So I can either count the number of spaces in between B and E, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight. Or I could think about, oops, my touch screen's not going so well today. Much better. Um, or I could think negative six is six away from the zero and two is two away from the zero. And so six spaces away from the zero plus two spaces away from the zero gives me eight. Okay, part B, determine whether segment CA and segment ED are congruent. So CA, C is on the right side and A is on the left side. It doesn't matter. Um, there's still three spaces in between C, which is at negative four, and A, which is at negative seven. So one, two, three. So the length of CA is three. And again, even though we went to the left, it's still positive because length and distance are always positive. Then the length of ED, again, it's going from the right to the left. One, two, three, four. ED is four. Since three is not equal to four, notice that equal sign with the slash through it, they're not equal. So CA, is not congruent to ED. Um, next one, we want to find the length of AD. So even though A, I'm trying to erase and it's not going well. There you go. Even though A and D are both negative numbers, again, the length of AD is gonna be positive. It's the number of spaces, the number in between. Um, so even though we're going from negative 7 to negative 2, the difference between negative 7 and negative 2 is 5. You can count the number of spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's positive. Length and distance, always positive, always positive. And then the last one, determine whether or not CF and AE are congruent. CF, I'm going from negative 4 to positive 5, so the length of CF is 9. 4 plus 5 is 9, and the length of AE, I'm going from negative 7 to positive 2. Neg 7 plus 2 is also 9. There's 9 spaces in between A and E, so since those are equal, CF is congruent to AE. And remember, the equal sign is wearing a hat. The segments wear a hat as well. If your equal sign, remember this is the symbol for congruent, the equal sign with the squiggle on top. If your equal sign wears a hat, your segments wear a hat. So that's how you would write CF is, segment CF is congruent to segment AE. That's gonna come in handy and be super important further on in um, geometry, but it's a good habit to get into now.